Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, the Phantom Fellows. All right, so we need to uh, find uh, the Great Agostini's spellbook and his wife parts, and convince them to get back together. So let's go uh, go looking. Actually, let's switch back to Oliver. Tickets. It's free if you're under 12 years old, because in that case, you don't want to be here. I don't know, I think I might have liked a, a, what appears to be a magic museum. So I'm telling me a, what, what to trade my money for. It's a wand and gloves, but in cheap, forgettable form. Probably doesn't even do real magic. I mean, I was never, like, big into magic tricks and stuff like that, but, I mean, going to a museum about it when you're, like, 10? Most, you know, a lot of kids would probably be uh, kind of get a kick out of that. Looks like the kind of teddy bear that, as a child, I'd have, I'd have to turn facing the wall to be able to sleep. Aww. They're selling oversized playing cards, which is great if you want to get get your kid into magic, or lying, or gambling. Why not all of the above? Whoa, it's astronaut ice cream. One of those rare treats that tastes as good going down as it does being thrown up. Hmm. It's math box. That's Penelope, which is Greek for penny, which is English for everyone's least favorite coin. Hey now, don't don't care compare Penelope to to the penny. Someone left a giant chunk of wood in the middle of this room, and the resident humans have begun placing their objects on it. It says, Augustini, Augustini's Wand of Persuasion. I've never been peer pressured by a wand before, but I do want it to like me. I want it. It'll be my whole world for 16 minutes, and then I'll never play with it again. I find this particular light to be superfluous. Superfluid. Superfluous. Yeah, something like that. We're getting closer. No, not something like that. It is exactly that. Agree to disagree. There is nothing to disagree with. These are facts. Once again, you assume I recall what we're talking about. So we meet again, lights. I don't understand you, but I will. So, tell me more, more about this or any museum. But why, though? Who is this for? Will it actually help you, and would you even listen as, a, as I told it to you? Told me what now? Come back when you have something to ask about, and I don't mean the weather. Oh, I thought of something. What's up? Cashews are the softest nut. And so, uh, that's why they're my favorite. What am I supposed to do with that, huh? Peanuts are to potatoes as raisins are to grapes. Okay, we're all done here. Awkwardly slip out of conversation. Did I take anything? Oh man, is that astronaut ice cream? You know, we sell those. Listen, I have a very short, very sad bucket list, and consuming astronaut ice cream is surprisingly high on that list. Trust me, you don't want it. It expired a long time ago. So did I, yet I am still fresh, like freaking bagged salad. I don't mind. I'll take it home and rehydrate it. Fine, I'll let you have it, but... You have to get back to ghost hunting if I do. Well, I never. Gee willikers, Penelope, you're the best. I actually introduced him to that phrase. I was not expecting to uh, take it. Do not forget to speak with me as the evening advances. Should I not look at what this is? Looks like a quarter. They want five dollars for it. Well, I want nothing for it. Oh, well, Penny is here. She's just going to yell at me. I kind of want its tiny top hat, but also I'm scared that if I take it, I'll anger and awaken the bear. No thanks, I don't want to wear old baggy gloves that fit everyone and no one while holding a wand that was made in the same factory as large drinking straws. No, I only know how to play Go Fish and Engelbert won't play with it, play that with me anymore. It makes him curse a lot and becomes rather unpleasant to be around. He says it makes me curse a lot, but... That's only because he's a goddamn liar. I know you had four cards, Pickles. Can I use a computer? 
Hmm, this computer is connected to a baud mo modem. And it's connected to the uh, current Gamers Guild, BBS. Are you sending our ghost problem in electronic mail? Or maybe you should get back to it. I feel like that started out as a question, but then it turned into you yelling at me. Please don't touch the display, Mr. Cobblestone. I wasn't gonna. Uh, I was just seeing how close I could get without touching it. You feel good about that? Feel good about yourself? Yes? So, do... Shh! Let us speak in private, so you do not look any more unhinged than you naturally do. Alright, let's get to it. Oh, we just go outside, okay. Let's keep going this way. Ooh, ooh, alright. I know what this is. It reads, this is a saw box. You fake cut a lady in half in it for yucks. That is actually a fair translation. I think the idea is, if the ropes look classy, people will act classy by respecting them. Unfortunately for them, I am not a fancy man. The box's last victim, frozen in fear from its final moments. In fact, listening carefully, I can... It's a mannequin. It's usually a mannequin. This is a side of the box where the more important half of one's body vacates. This is a side of the box that contains the legs. This side of the box is... Uh, like the uh, bass player. It's not flashy, but you need it. Other than graduating the material from bone to metal, the saw it really hasn't changed much in the last several thousand years. I liked them better when they were bone. Because they were... Because they were heavier, yes. Light is here to insist you look at the saw box. One day I'll unlock the secrets of illumination. Then, then I'll have words for lights. What a bloody color. Let's have you look. The sign reads like it's sh like it is shocked to have your attention, and now it desperately wants to keep it. These are tiny sun simulators. Red is the first color we lose sight of in low-light conditions. So when the lights go down, we quickly lose sight of the red curtains and can concentrate on the performance. And that is why curtains are traditionally red in a theater or performance. This light is here for dramatic effect, much like Oliver. It appears to be a non-musical saw. I suppose the prettier face went in this box and the prettier feet went in the other. These first became popular when I was a boy, and the name Mannequin is derived from the French term an artist's jointed model. I see some sexually provocative ropes and large, unforgiving poles. Oh my. This side of the box is for the assistant with the face for radio. The only time I feared having my feet eaten by a monster was when I slept with a too small with too small of a blanket. back. I'm not seeing any signs of the book. Someone shoved a sword through this perfectly good box. One sword. Really long night. Bit dramatic, really. Agostini's stabby box. Inside the box is a complex series of mechanical cogs and pressure plates. Blah, blah, blah. Here we go. When the third sword is in, when, here we go. When the third sword is inserted into the box, the box springs open, revealing an unharmed assistant inside. Oh, good. I was worried there wasn't going to be enough lights to talk about, but the museum kindly put extras in the room for me. More lights to compulsively describe to myself. Terrific. These curtains are living a lie. They don't close. They can't close. They're not long enough. There's no rod. They're not curtains at all, they're just two fancy sheets hanging next to a, a thing in a small, sad museum. I don't know how long I've been here, but it's clearly been just too long. This appears to be the face hole. Can I, can I take the sword? Maybe, but I should probably inspect the box first. No, that's no fun. 
It's especially locked. It is especially locked. What can you see from inside with from within the face hole? I see something shiny, which means I want it. It's either diamonds or plastic, and I'll risk it all to find out which. Also, there's a lot of like mechan mechanized cogs and rods against the lining. It's overly elaborate, like a rude rude Goldberg contraption. It should be rude. Any idea how to open the incredibly mach incredible machine slash pine box? Actually, yeah. The slot with the uh, sword in it is unlocked. Okay, one down, two to go. So I think we're always able to find everything we need on location. That is a fact, yes. But sometimes there's helpful things around town that work too. I'm feeling a bit adventurous, so... Are you thinking that embarrassing collector's edition ninja sword from home might fit in the box? The one that was hanging on the wall and then fell off the wall and now lives on the floor? Yes. Yes. Cool. Well, if you feel like it, we can run home and grab it. Otherwise, I'm sure everything we need is already here. Ah. We have a car option now. Remember, we never need to leave the current location to solve the case. But if we want to leave or we saw something useful somewhere else, we can likely find other ways of doing things. Correct. Good talk. I've had better. Travel unlocked. I think I want to go home. Neat. It's a really long night. A bit dramatic, really. Nighttime, when everyone is gone, the mannequin wraps himself with the, in the curtains and sleeps. These are facts. Agostini's stage outfit. The magician's clothes were custom-made and feature hidden pockets and compartments in the sleeves to assist in creating illusions. It's a human placeholder. There was nothing in the many hidden pockets and hidden compartments, and I would like a refund. This one feels a bit too warm. This one feels a bit too cold. Yeah, let's see what else we can find uh, this way. All right. It says this mask was part of a diving suit that Agostini patented. After rigging the suit for a quick escape to be used in his act, he realized it could be very useful in real, li real life application. How useful, I didn't ask. Well, it dawned on Agostini that his design could potentially save a life. If an actual diver was in such a suit and lost air supply, they could quickly free themselves and return to the surface. The moral of the story is magicians are incredibly shifty people while often being quite thoughtful. More lights to compulsively describe for myself. These curtains are shorter and angrier than the rest. It belongs in a different museum. A dive mask in its native display. We can try to grab things and grope things later. It even feels like it says things. Oh! And how are you this evening? Wow, okay, I am so much better now that you asked. Madame. Oh. Why, I do declare a breather that can understand us. Luckily for you, no, he can only see and hear me. You must be Angelique, nice to meet you. I am Engelbert Picklebender, my friend here is Oliver. It's a true delight. I take it you must have spoken to my ex-husband? Ex-husband? As in your accident might not have been an accident? No, as in, it's until death do you part. And sugar, I parted with a lot in death. Who are we talking to? Ask them what their favorite dinosaur is. I know, that is super important. Everyone should be uh, talking about what their favorite dinosaur is. Mine is Styracosaurus. Oliver, please, adults are talking. That is absolutely an adult thing. Every adult should have a dino uh, favorite dinosaur. These are important things. Practice your animal sounds or something. The cow goes... Move? Your friend is kind of cute. At the risk of sounding saucy, I've got a thing for beating hearts. Pardon my saying so, but I thought you would have also been from Italy. Honey, you'd make a cat laugh. Agostini is from Canada. And I'd bet you've already heard the six words he knows in Italian. As for myself, 
I'm from Savannah, Georgia. Ask her how the gross thing happened. And tell her I'm sorry and that I love her anyway. I if she wants me to. Oh, bless my heart. He could charm the honey out of the hive. Well, okay then. I suppose I could share with y'all. It's a long story. We were performing the routine, saw a woman in half trick, and he actually sawed me in half. Okay, it's a short story. Are you sure it was not on purpose? Surely you could tell he was, you know. Proactively sawing me in half? Yes, well, our act was literally famous for its authenticity. I would scream and holler and act like I was being sawed in half, and he would show the crowd that I actually had been. What, did he have simulated guts on the inside of the box halves? But then he would put me back together, and I'd look at the crowd and grin like a possum eating a sweet potato. Do possums actually like sweet potatoes? I have no idea. How was this all possible? I honestly don't know how the trick worked. All I know is that one night it didn't. Perhaps you could benefit from speaking to him. I say from experience that knowledge of details often leads to closure. Darling, there's no point. Nothing is going to change the fact that I just can't bring myself to forgive him. Sorry, the thought of sentient ghost legs is giving me the heebies. Uh, do we know if Ago was a murderer? Outside of magic tricks, Ago wouldn't pour water out of a boot if the instructions were on the heel. Couldn't pour water out of a boot if the instructions were on the heel. Oh, because you'd have to flip it over to look at it. Got it. He ain't no killer. You can tell your friend his spirit means no harm. Oliver, he's a demon. About face and run. Oh, God. Which way? Whose face do I about? I'm lucky I was just joshing you because I said run, not do a light hustle. Oh, my. Why, you could feel the heat pouring out of him. Goodness, he is finer than a frog hair split three ways. Excuse me, what? I admit I am jealous. Just look at those freshly made tears, too. Phew. Well, you'll have to excuse me, boys. I need to go compose myself and continue on my search. Tell Oliver that he could butter my butt and call me a biscuit any time. Oh, my. I will not. Now, we didn't get a look at these things with Oliver, I don't think. I've rarely taken one of these uh, without being tackled in the same evening. Well, I want to take one. Yes. Making yourself responsible for any potential fires has put the entire facility in danger. That's fine. Nothing good, just a banana peel. Oh, I want a banana peel. It's back frost guano. Looks like the, he says the same thing. These machines are total control freaks. This little flappy door makes it really hard to get stuff out of the machine. They should have put it up higher. I've known moths with less in interest in lights. Rip Terrence. It says employees only, as if it's one of them. I don't have the clearance. Might have to buckle down and spend the years it takes to climb that ladder. You walk into the wall in this spot, you'll end up in the restroom. Move out of the way. Didn't mean to still be on walk. I guess it costs money to get into this room. If I worked here, I would stay in this room until they fired me. All right, well, let's see what we can find. First, I need to move the uh, classy rope out of the way first. All right. Got it. I always forget about the fifth pocket. Oh, my. Grossolano. Agostini uh, wandered away. A fire extinguisher. Astronaut ice cream. 
cord and pole with velvet rope. Can I open this box? It's locked. Intolerable. Will my car keep work? No. It has been too long I last touched a box. We'll touch it. I will die never knowing. I do not require any heated luminescence. It says come, but it is spelled the gross way. No. Can't get into that right now. Now, I already have tiny plastic letters at home. Might even have magnets on them. I already have a whole pant load of classy rope and poles. It's not enough. Can't reach it. Now I'm gonna drink, like, a bunch of milk and try again in a few years. Nah, I don't want my hands to feel like I'm a passenger to a student driver. No, no, I don't feel like getting open hands slapped in the face right now. Her about like the book or something. We get the saw. Yeah, it's pretty similar in size and weight to the swords, but as it is now, it won't fit in the box. But still, maybe I can force it. Yoink! Darn right. What you see is a saw. I don't want to open this side without opening the other two. Well, then open that one. Nope, not touching them. Not for all the red gummy bears in the bag. Gummy bears. Engelbert says if I keep bringing mannequin parts home, then girls won't want to hug me no more. Eh, you just gotta find the right girl. You just gotta find the right girl. Oliver, the legs are up ahead. Around your two o'clock. Nito. All right, but I think that uh, this is a good time to uh, call it an episode. We'll see if we can interact with the legs, and Agostini is also here, uh, seems to be hovering around his uh, outfit. But we will see uh, what we can do to uh, move both of them on next time. See you then, everyone.